Hello, Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies, and in this video, I'm going to show how you can restore an old version of a file inside of Autodesk Inventor. What many users don't realize about Inventor is that every time a file is saved, an old version of the file is placed in a folder called, surprisingly enough, Old Versions. So, how can we take advantage of that? Here I have a model of a piston like you'd find inside of an engine. And maybe I've made some changes to the dimensions and I've completely messed it up, just put in bad data and completely screwed up my design. And I could try to re-enter the numbers, but maybe it's just not worth it. And the problem is I've already saved this file once, so it's not like I can just close and not save it and bail out. There's still a way to do it with that old versions file. So let's go get that guy. I'll go ahead and I'll just close this file. And now I'll go ahead and hit open again. And here's my cylinder. If I click on it, you can see the thumbnail shows a change. However, if I go to that old versions file, there it is right there in the same directory. I can see that there's a cylinder dot zero 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 one dot IPT. So as you do more saves, it'll become zero 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 two, et cetera, et cetera. But I'll go ahead and select that file. You can already see the thumbnails different and I can hit open. Now I'm going to get an option. It tells me that I've selected an old version of the file and uh, what do I want to do with it? I've got three choices. I can open the old version, but a save won't be allowed. Just look at it. I can restore it to the current version and basically make this old version the new version, or I could just open the current version if I got into this directory by mistake. Now what I'm going to do in this case though is I'm going to restore that old version to the current version. Hit OK, Inventor does its thing, and now I've got that old version. So if I kind of wanted to use this as a safety valve and get back to kind of a point where I knew I hadn't made a mistake, I could definitely do that. Another thing is, if you ever have a file that gets corrupted, it can happen sometimes, you can go ahead and restore that old version and maybe get back something without having to do all sorts of extra work, at least mitigate the damage, and that can save you a lot of time. One last trick, if you go to your project file, you're going to find a setting way down in the bottom under options. Old versions to keep on save. You can change that number. The default is one, but you can change it to any number you want. Negative one being save every version I ever create and zero being none, but control how many old versions are kept back. So if you want more than one, just change that number in your project, and there you go. But the old versions folder, you might not know it's there. Hopefully, you never need it. But if you ever do, now you know it's there. That's it for this video. Thank you, everyone.